Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Subgroup nation, people out there. We're back once again with another tier list, because apparently tier lists are our most popular content somehow. I'm joined you, with You asked Callum. for it. We brought it. And today we're doing the Simpsons tier list. <laughs> but as you may know, there's like 300 characters in the Simpsons, so... Me and Calm over here, we just chose our top 10 each, and now we're going to rank them. How do you quantify the quality of a simp if not <laughs> from his simpiness? Hmm. So just most powerful simp? Yeah, most most powerful simp. Yes. God damn it. Right, so we're in for, <laughs> you're going for a treat here, so uh, we're starting out with none other than the man, the hero, the myth, the legend, Hans Molman. Uh. <laughs> Okay, we can do Hans, but we'll just go in whatever. I would say can. Hans Molman. Every time he appears on screen, he's getting a lol out of me, bro. Yeah, he has always. I don't know seen. if that's the same for you, but he's getting a oh, lol out of me. Oh, I don't like living. So, so <laughs> yeah, and and Hans Molman, he he was at the forefront of millennial and Gen Z humor, like 10, 10 20 yeah, years before that shit was popping. So I it. I would start right out of the bat and put him. In a nice clean eight here. Hans Moleman is the, the original hipster. <laughs> it's facts. Would you agree? Eight. You know he uh, he uh, he's a Vietnam draft dodger, and he had long hippy hair. Is that facts? What what episode is this? You need to cite your fucking sources. In an episode I seen. So I suppose before we get too deep into this, we should preface for those who don't know. Uh, for the first maybe two months of lockdown, Calm had to come and stay with me. And basically all we did is watch The Simpsons on Disney Plus. So our, our knowledge of The Simpsons episodes is pretty... I don't even have a word for this point. Yeah, it's pretty extensive at this point. We know most there is to know. Basically all there is to know. <sighs> right, so next up is Monty C. Burns. Not Canary Monty Burns. But, but regular Monty Burns. Regular. Now, Clearly, Monty Burns is a very evil and degenerate human being. That being said, he also gets a good number of lols out of me, bro. Yeah, and he has an extensive and beautiful vest collection. He does. See, you can see his vests. You can. They're on display at the Smithsonian Museum of Natural <laughs> Arts. Uh, I'm just trying to think of some of his feats right now. He blocked out the sun. He got killed by a baby. So that kind of balances that out. Did he did he get got or did he just get incapacitated? I mean, he got he got marked for an episode and then everyone went, "Oh, shot Mr. Burns!" and it turned out it was Maggie oh, yeah, Sim. Yeah, yeah. And it was Maggie Sim. You're right. You're right. Because uh, all the hmm. sort of exists within the same timeline. I don't moment. know, Lenny. Throw 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 a letter, bro. Throw a letter. I think he's up there with uh, Hans Moban. I think he's an A tier. Yeah. I think we've bust out two eighty years to begin with. Okay. I can fuck. You know what? I can fuck that. I can fuck with that, bro. Mr. We're going. We're going by sheer power of simpiness. <laughs> Mr. Burns is one of the powerful, most, powerful man. One of the most powerful men in Springfield, if it's not true. the most powerful. And bro, release the hounds, bro. He's got the flying monkeys and shit. Yeah. <laughs> release yeah. the hounds and release the bees and release the hounds with the bees in their mouths. When they bark, they shoot bees. Bee. You can't contend with that. That's a tier shit. Yeah. He's right. He's right, you know. It's a tier list. D the next character it. on Matt Groening's definitive Simpsons tier list that he sent us in the mail is mm -hmm. Dr. Hibbert. Um, Dr. Hibbert, he's, I think he's the most grounded of all the, the soup Simpsons characters. I would put him just oh. nice and flat in the middle of a C tier, bro. Because I but would he's say... Also please continue. A drug dealer. I, I mean, cool. he gives people, he gives people fucking, what you call it? Valium when they need it, bro. That's, that's yeah, pretty he, respectable of him. But he offers Marge Simpson uh, painkillers, no questions asked. No questions asked. But he also <laughs>, laughs at people. He goes, <laughs> Yeah, I think even in Even in the face of adversity and insane trauma, he'll laugh at your face, bro. Death. So. Yeah, I think he's C. I would think he's C, bro. I'd say he's, he's probably the most one of the most average Simpsons characters. He's not made me lol too many times, but I've really got nothing against the man. So let's let's see. Oh, good god! Right, next on <laughs> next on the shit, we've got old fucking Gil. Old Gil. 
I'm sure old Gil can sell a house. Don't worry, I'm sure. No, if it came to prospects, that'd be F. Oh yeah, if this man has no hope. If it came to well, adorability, that's just A. That's just S plus, in fact. You think he's S tier? I'm just saying. Those two can must cancel each other out a little bit to the point where... When I see Gil, I am lolling, but I'm also cringing a little bit, bro. I mean, I just feel sorry for him. Hmm. And I, I'm going to bump up, bump him up because I feel sorry for him. See, that's what that's what Gil that's... wants from me, bro. Yeah, I think that's Gil. inherently that's part me, of Gil's character. Sad little old freak who couldn't make anything out of his life, bro. Are you going to take pay on him for no good reason? I mean, it's all Gil. So what are you saying? You not? B? B. Yeah, I was thinking B as well. You know what, bro? I'll throw. If no one else is, if no one else in this goddamn world will throw old Gil a bone, and then we at Soup Group will do it, and we'll give him a B. <laughs> All right, do you have any suggestions for the next man? Any suggestions for the next man? I Which think we, we should do a ble bleeding gum, ble 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 bleeding gums Murphy. Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. What is there to be said about bleeding gums Murphy, bro? Is he even a man? There's there's theories out there that he's in fact a, the god of music come down to impart Lisa with his gifts. I would thoroughly believe that, bro, because at the end of the you know his debut episode, he did a Mufasa cloud situation. He did, bro. He, he did, didn't he? Because he's he's a demigod. He's um, he might just be a demigod, bro. But who was who was his father Griffin. in that case? Uh, his father was Zeus, obviously. The god you of know? hot Pretty fucking much beats. Yeah, pretty much everyone's. <laughs> <laughs> no, it may be you. You may think this controversial to say, right? I won't believe in Gums and S tier, bro. That's the boy. I think he is. I think he's one of the only men powerful enough to be in S tier. And there he goes. I think you're exactly right. No other character has shown any sorts of feats of like anime, you know, anime protagonist like strength as to like yeah. become one with the clouds, bro. Come on. Yeah. Okay, so Herman, 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 guy. Herman. Uh, now, I'm gonna take this opportunity to tell a little tale. Okay, you can tell the tale. You can tell the tale. Let him know of my of my hometown. Please okay. let him know. So there's a man, and he wears a parka. And for many, many years of my life, I've seen him running and running and running and running and running and suit trousers and a parka every day of my life. I'd look out my window and there he'd be running past. <laughs> every every day, every uh, no no fail. Every day it was like this man knew like when I was fucking going clock my, my work, bro. Okay, and he looks a lot like Herman Herman. In fact, I would describe him as my hometown's Herman Herman. <laughs> and, uh, Is he one, one day, armed? I've never looked close enough. One day, that's fair enough. He came into my work, and he had a lady friend, and he had stopped running. Bro. And now he's no longer a running man. He's just Parka guy. If I ain't proof that these women will ruin your dreams, bro. I mean, I mean, I always thought maybe he slowed down and he started appreciating life now as Parka <laughs> guy. <laughs> maybe he started walking hand in hand with his beloved. He has. He has. I've seen it happen. I've seen it. That's pretty blessed. It is pretty blessed. And that's why I think Herman Herman's... Uh, yeah, I don't think you could rank you. Herman Herman based on his real life counterpart, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Because if we start doing that, we get into some muddy territory <laughs> when we reach some later characters. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, fair, fair one. I think That's Herman's fair, another C, bro. I don't, I don't, don't hate me for it. I, like, that was a nice tale and shit, but I think Herman's <laughs> just an RC. Um, okay, so who's next? Who is next indeed, bro? Uh... Uh, how about Teeny the Chimp? Because we've been getting, we've been, you know, we've been doing some monkey content the past couple days. Yeah, yeah, he's Teeny the Chimp. A monkey. I'll, look, Lenny, I'll look you in the eyes and I'll say, if you want Teeny the Chimp anywhere below a B, I will slap you in your shit, bro. No, I think he's an A tier character. I would he's completely agree. Or a monkey, he shows so much emotion. He shows a lot of emotion, plus Teeny the Chimp ain't no bitch, bro. If you try some shit with Teeny the Chimp, like, even in that very picture, he's squaring the fuck up right now. That's A tier shit. I agree. Right, so we're making good progress, bro. Uh, we need to start filling out the bottom half, bro. Do you have any suggestions for F tier characters? Suggestions for F tier characters? There's just so many good ones. Cause I think that there's there's one blatant exception sticking out in the in the roster right now, bro. Uh, who's that then? And that's Reverend. PQ Lovejoy. 
Reverend P. Is his name PQ of the <laughs> I don't any fucking clue. <laughs> We're gonna have to look that up now. We can look up. Let me just uh, see if I can fuck with every single viewer. Hey Siri. <laughs> um, uh, what's Reverend Lovejoy's uh, first name? Timothy. Oh yeah, Timothy. Thanks. Timothy Lovejoy, bro. I would say he's a bitch-made nigga. He's never done anything that even probably even made me lol, bro. So I would say press F for this man. Are you aware he embezzles money from the church? That's fuck. That's sacrilegious, bro. I don't mm. fuck with that. And uh, it's heavily implied that he cheats on his wife. I don't fuck with that, bro. Plus his little daughter. She was fucking with Are Bart's you? feelings, bro. That's crazy. And he sends his daughter away to boarding school so he doesn't have to deal with her. That's F tier shit, bro. This nigga's, awful, a, this nigga's a chump. Yeah. Chump. Chump, bro. No wonder his wife's got nothing bad to do than to talk about other people's business. Yeah. Chump yeah. shit, bro. Okay. Next. May I offer we jump from S right back to the other side of the spectrum? Over to S? By offering you none other than... Honest Abraham you, Simpson. You may offer. Would you like to tell the viewers a little bit about uh, Abraham, Honest Abe's life? In fact, have you got the nickname Honest Abe, perhaps? Uh, Honest Abe got his nickname because back in the days of fighting, and I believe it was the Vietnam War with his good friends, uh, Ox, some other men, and also Burnsy, he found a big cache of uh, very rare and expensive paintings. While he was amongst his group called the, the Hellfish, bro, and they all had matching tats, which was very blessed that he still had Those on his Those tattoos were awesome, we should, get we should get them. And he earned the name Honest Abe because, you know, when he when he, when he he finessed all them nice paintings, he never told a soul he would not, you know? Honest Abe ain't no snitch, bro. He knows the oh, snitches yeah, yeah. get stitches. He didn't take any, but he never told anyone. So that was a little anecdote about Honest Abe. That puts him directly on some S tier shit. And his daughter looks exactly like Homer. Did you know he had a daughter? Did he have a daughter, bro? He does have a daughter. When he was stationed in England before D Day, he actually hooked up with an English woman, and he went back to see her for a day. And it turned out he has a daughter. She looks identical to Homer. <laughs> oh, in fact, yeah. You don't realize this. they're related, and Homer goes, mm, "You're a good-looking girl." Uh, what a wise Marge. And she goes, oh, oh, "You're not so bad yourself." Over. <laughs> Could you betray me for a mattress on an over? That's my impression of Marge Simpson. Epic. I'll definitely choose one now. I am going to go ahead and say Kearney. Kearney, right. What is there actually to be said about Kearney? Probably one of the most illustrious and most misunderstood characters in the entire Simpsons. Hmm. What's Many the word? Discography? I don't know what's the word. This you can let me know a little bit about Kearney, bro. Kearney is a very misunderstood hero. Can I just thing. ask you real quick? Is Kearney his for or surname? Do we know? Both. It's Kearney Kearnison. Ah, it's a Mario Mario situation. That's okay. All right, please continue. I don't know if that was true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look it up, but... Uh, no, I mean, his name is Kearney Dizzywitch. So, there's that. <laughs> um, so, Kearney Wait, Zizzo, sorry, what did you say? It's Kearney Zizowich. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I like so, Kearney Kearney better, to be quite honest. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, he's, uh, he was, per one at one, one point, he was portrayed as just your regular old bully. But Kearney is actually a father, a member <laughs> of the PTA, a member of the church council, a member of the neighborhood watch. A member of and... Alcoholics Anonymous. A member of Alcoholics Anonymous. Not only that, he does volunteer work and he teaches young bullies how to be better bullies. To me, he's a, just a hero and an inspiration. That's, that's genuinely been. patriotic, philanthropic, and all around just very, you know, caring gestures, man. Mm -hmm. His son sleeps in a drawer, but you know, at least he provides a house for him. Bro, now, for me, Kearney is a classic case of do not judge a book by its cover, bro. Yeah, uh, yes, he's a, the, the case. He's the he's the uh, penultimate case. The only other case of not judging book by its cover, obviously being Mo. But <laughs> moving on, we'll, we'll get over to that. Right. So where is Kearney going so we can talk about Mo? A tier. I think A tier as well. Kearney is a stone-bodied warrior with a heart of gold. Now, yes. 
Some say he's the the, the, the Jewish golem mate. Like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> We're not getting into that, bro. That's too. That's getting a bit too deep. <laughs> Talking about ancient Jewish lore. I mean, his name's Zizowich, so I'm. Is. I'm wondering. Right, Mo says like, look at his little face. Mo says like, what, bro? Mo says like is genuinely one of the best characters. Not even just in The Simpsons, but one of the, you know, most in-depth and relatable fictional characters ever to exist. He is. He's a sad, lonely, delusional man. Yeah, on the surface, but if you look deeper, bro, he's an he's a fucking genius artist. Um. Oh, you don't believe me, bro? There's just something I think you should know. The fly girl two step, bro. The flaming mole. Uh, no, there's just something. The I forget think you me know. shot, bro. I you know. I understand. Okay. But Art. I, I think I just found something out that will blow even our minds. Oh God. Please we once drop knew up. him as Mo, or sorry, Morris. Morris Mo, says like. Says like. Yep. Did you know his name is Moamar Morris Mo? <laughs> says like. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse his me. Name what? Is Moamar. 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 <laughs> Where did you learn this knowledge? My uh, extensive Simpsons catalog. Like, I know that Mo is short for Morris, but I didn't know Morris was just a middle name and his first name is Moamar. His first name is Moamar? That sounds like a fucking kaiju, bro. Alias is Morris says like, Moamar says like, Uncle Mo. Uncle is Mo! A... Yeah, that's more art, bro. Uncle Mo's is art. Mo? Kid Mo? Kid Gorgeous? Kid Presentable? Kid Gruesome? Wait, did you say Kid Mo? <laughs> yeah, remember when he, was, when he had a boxing career? No! <laughs> An illustrious boxing career, bro. Yeah, look, Mo is fucking S tier, bro. <laughs> Listen to this out. this man's accolades, bro. Every time he uh, took a further beating, he became further to like you know. So he was kid gorgeous, kid presentable, kid Mo, kid <laughs> gruesome. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like that. Kid presentable, bro. That's funny. Kid Online Mo, volunteer firefighter. I think that's especially poignant. Bro, I, what else Emperor was Mo has been around the block, bro? Look at his face. <laughs> I think we should get a a, a free and middle tier character out here. Middle tier. Yeah, you know DC. I think e. Rainier Wolfcastle fits that bill. You think he fits D? Hmm. Rainier Wolfcastle. I think he does fit D. So I don't so think he's think ever made me lol, bro. He's never. What about my eyes? The goggles do nothing. If I'm gonna nothing. laugh at every time a Simpsons character gets some shit in their eyes, bro. That's, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm not supposed to get pudding in my eye. <laughs> yeah, but that's funny because it's Lenny. I mean, I mean, I'm what? saying he's he's like C at tops, bro. I mean, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to agree with you. He was in movies such as McBain, McBain 2, McBain 3, McBain 4, McBain Let's Get Silly, Help My Son Is A Nerd, Missy's Mum, Frankenberry the movie 2, The Frankenberry Wars Planet. I think he should go and be. B? He can go and be. He's right next to old Gale, bro. The sheer quantity of movies, there must be some good ones in there. Uh, Adam Sandler and Will Smith exist, though. Contrary to that point you just made. Will Smith was in a YouTube Rewind, that was a good movie. I mean, it was pretty hot. Yep. Anyway. Who do you think could fill out the D slot? Because we do need at least one in there. Who could fill out the D slot? <laughs> I think Will and Smithers could go in the D slot. So yeah, I, you know what, bro? He is he certainly one of the most impressed deals. people. I think he's in the D slot because he's just not... He, he's not really anything without Mr. Burns, is he? There's that one time he goes on a party boat, but like... He also that is true, he is just sort of a Simpsons. side joke of Mr. Burns, like, he's not funny like, without the crux of Mr. Burns yeah. to fall on, so... He is the opposite, he, he keeps Mr. Burns in check, he even goes against him when he blocks out the sun. Hmm, but that's true. I'm trying to think as really... well if Wayland's ever made me lol, and I do not think he actually has. There's that one time he was black, you lolled at that, I was That's literally the only saving grace is that he was black for two episodes. That's why he's not in F. D. Right, I think, I think that, next up we need to do a cop a, a pair of characters, bro. That transcend even The Simpsons as a television show. Mm. 
And these characters that I would think, and clearly the tier list maker itself thinks should come as a pair due to the way their <laughs> character images have been framed. And that is Superintendent Chalmers and Let's Seymour Skinner. Skinner. Or should I say Armin Tanzarian? Hey, that's Armin Tanzarian over there. Don't tell anyone. Now, if I were to rank Seymour Skinner, he'd go on F tier because he abandoned his mother. And he didn't even, you know, get too many confirmed kills in war. He came back, he got bitched out by the entirety of Springfield, and he got replaced yeah. by the simp that is Armin Tanzarian. Was he not POW as well? Yeah, but it was. Yeah, so he was going to let himself get captured. Skinner. Yeah, that's mm. true, that's true. We, so, we human. Uh, I don't know, Armin Tanzarian, he's going to go A, because bro, steamed hams, bro, come off it, man. And he's a war hero. He's a green beret, bro. Yeah. He's, he, he, he has killed men. He has. He will again. And then He's... Superintendent Chalmers, his brother in arms of the lesser known uh, part of uh, uh, Armin Tanzarian's life, the Cham Skin Saga, Cham. where basically he becomes a movie making Hollywood titan, bro, along with Superintendent Chalmers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Superintendent Jeffrey Chalmers, I believe is his name. Gary. His name is oh, Gary. Gary, right, I'm tripping. His name is Gary. So they're both A tier, if you ask me, because, you know, even if you just were to write them off Steam Tam's meme, they're, like, up there, bro. Yeah. But they've got so, there's so much more to this duo than just Steam Tam's. Um, well, I can actually give you one other thing as well. Please do. Uh, in later lore, Skinner actually takes up the position of superintendent, and he, uh, he attends the school from Recess as one of the schools in his district. If you go and rewatch Recess, you'll know as Superintendent Skinner. <laughs> oh my actually. god, are you serious? Uh, does that mean Gary Chalmers is dead? I think he's just retired. Does that, mean, does that mean Seymour Skinner's aka Armin Tanzarin used his former Green Beret training to kill and therefore usurp Gary Chalmers for the position of Superintendent? Yeah, and I can tell you why, because uh, <laughs> Gary Chalmers left and upset Agnes Skinner. Ah, uh, I see. Speaking of Agnes Skinner, I know she wasn't on our original pick, but she is here on the top row right now, so I think we should throw her in there. Okay. Right, Agnes Skinner, that's a, that's a C, bro. Do you have any objection to this? Oh, uh, no, 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 I have no objection to it. I, I actually have a little bit of lore to add about uh, Chalmers. Please do. He has a daughter who is a paedophile because she shows part of her, her breasts. What? Wait, what are you, bruh? I don't know that the people are actually come here for this. Are they ready for this? I wasn't, I didn't ask for this. <laughs> this is one of the later episodes. She flashed Bart for it because he, he, he took the blame for stealing, for shoplifting. Damn. And she said, here's your reward, bro. Mm-hmm. And he said, I'm 10. I don't know what to do with this information. And he's still 10. I mean, yeah, he's... Bro, what do you mean is he still 10? It's been 30 Good years. Part. Imagine being 10 for 30 years. Oh, fuck yeah, bro, that's lit. You don't have yeah, to ever become, like, self-aware. Fire. <laughs> oh. Moving on. Speaking <laughs> of, here's another man who's been proverbially 10 for 30 years. And that would be... Oh, here's Jeffrey. Jeffrey, the comic book guy. <sighs> I got him confused with Gary Chalmers. Hmm. Now... Jeffrey Albertson, comic book extra, comic book a, enthusiast extraordinaire. He's a bit of a dickhead. He's a bit of a dickhead, but <laughs> he does make so me weird. lol quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, he do be scamming people though. Does he? Mm. Mm. Or is he just a he's stickler for, like, you know? He, yeah, he knows he's just, a he knows he a mint condition comic, and he wants it to remain mint condition, bro. Yep. You're I don't right. think he's scamming anyone, bro. To be frank. No, no. I, I think, think he knows he his business and he sticks to his he sticks to his guns. Mm, mm, mm. He's still a bit of a dickhead though. That being said, he's a fat ugly dickhead. <laughs> so I'm gonna offer B or C to you. Uh I'm gonna go B because he does get a good chuckle out of everybody. He does get he lo he does get me lolling. If nothing else, he gets me lolling, so there he goes. He said some shit about Mario in one episode. <laughs> Did he really? Plus his voice yeah. is funny and his name is Jeff. His name is Jeff. <laughs> Good God, right. Coming down to the final few characters. Kang and Kodos, bruh. 
They're also misunderstood. There was that one time that the, you know, they abducted the Simpsons and they cooked them a meal, and the Simpsons thought they were going to cook them as a meal. Yeah, in but fact, they were in reality, they were just oh, committing oh. microaggressions against people from their planet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, they get me lolling, but they don't get me lolling too much. So I'd say probably C tier. I think no, hear me out on this. I'll I think they're right, B tier. Right. Simply for their power to control the Simpsons timeline. Hmm. Now you're gonna need to el elaborate on that a little bit. Well, they they are the the creators of every Treehouse of Horror episode. They're the that ones that make true. that shit happen. That's why they're right. in every single one. They are an ever presence in the Simpsons lore. So you know what, bro? They're, you might be like right. They're like entity, like a Cthulhu or Neil Lafferty. They come down and they make horrible things happen to the Simpsons family. You know what, bro? Family. It's facts. They do. You know what? They they might not get me lolling directly, but they oftentimes set about the events that get me lolling, and that's yes. B tier shit. So B tier. All right, and other than the fucking prolific gods themselves, we've got but one man or pooch rather left. And that's mm. Poochie. Poochie. From the episodes he's... Itchy, Scratchy, and Poochie. Yeah, he's, uh, he replaces Itchy and Scratchy. Uh, you know what, bro? I kind of fuck with so... Poochie, but... You know, bro. He got done so dirty that... I might have to well, put him an F with Reverend Lovejoy, bro. Here, is that cap? Um, is that cap? You need to you keep me straight, bro. Is that oh, cap? I think, I think I think he's I think he's F tier. You think he's F? I think so too, bro. Because like, I was in one episode, frankly, and he didn't really do too much. Yeah. He came through. He made Homer Simpson get too big for his britches, mm. and then they did him dirty, and his planet needed him, and he was never seen again. That's exactly what happened. But is that as bad as Reverend Lovejoy with his with his genuine simping ass? I think he's in front of Reverend Lovejoy, but he's still an F. Yeah, you know. Oh yeah, we he ordered. He can't be in the tier above that. You can go up there. Um, should All we right. do the simp family to to appease the viewers, or should we just skip them? Uh, we're gonna do rapid fire simps. Where's Bart going? Rapid fire. He's going to B. He's going to B. You know, you probably came here and think we might get some of the base cast of characters. That's not really how we do things on Subgroup. But for those of you whining, we'll throw them in at the end. Yeah. Now, Crumping oh. Midge. Where's Crumping Midge? Crumping Midge is going an E because I just think she's kind of neat. I think she's. I just think she's neat. Now, if she was regular Midge, probably C. Don't even talk to me about regular Midge. But mm. if she's crumping with me and calling me Sweetie Pie, bro, that's A tier shit. Boom. Yeah. Right. Okay. Lisa Simpson. You know, she used to be like funny and kind of relatable, but over time, she's just become. If you go to like season twenty-three, she's just kind of like. Liberalist, eco-friendly bitch. Yeah. And then there's that really cringy episode where we go on holiday and she meets friends. Oh, bro, that one's gay. That shows her that she's like, she, you know, she's gay. <laughs> she's the lonely yeah. artist, like the brooding saxophone player on the outside, but the first opportunity she gets to patch all and make some friends, she does that shit. That's whack, yeah, bro. She, she, gives it, she gives it all up just to have friends. And that's... Lisa Simpson ain't a real one, bro. That's F. F. F tier. F tier. She's gone. Now... Smaller Lisa, aka Margaret Simpson. S. She might be S. She's the most competent of the Simpsons. She's really, and plus she's really about the shit. If Lisa's in F tier for not being a real nigga, Maggie's in S tier because she's real as fuck, bro. Yeah. Remember that one episode where she gets sent to special school and it turns out she's actually a genius? <laughs> yes, fashion. bro. Remember that awesome. time she capped like three niggas, bro? Yeah. Maggie she's, Simps, bro. She's deadly. She'll kill you dead if you disrespect the Simps, bro. Yep. And she's for really reason, about it. She's S really about it. That's my nigga Margaret, bro. Alright, homeo simp. He's more I think he's right there next to his wife, bro, if you were to ask I me. Think, I think so, too. He's, he's too. he's too classic of a character to put anywhere above A. Yeah, he does eventually just become a, a nuisance. And he's a certainly... Of, uh, no matter, you know, dickhead sake. It is true, he does become a dickhead. Like, his character arc falls off a bit, but... That being said, he does not fail to consistently make me lol. Yeah, he does make you lol, doesn't he? He's a lol. <laughs> <sighs> oh, right, and we've got but two characters left, bro. And those are the fabled gods themselves. Lenny mm. Leonards and Carl Carlson. 
What is there to say about Lenny Leonard and Carl Carlson? Well, there's only one thing to say about them, and that's that they're going at the top of S tier. Oh, of course. But there is only but one question that really matters, bro. Who's mm. at the top of S tier? Is it Lenny or is it Carl? It's Lenny. I'm not arguing with that, bro. I'm not it's arguing Lenny. with that. <laughs> Look at him, he's got, he's got pudding in his eye. Yeah, but you know who oh. put that pudding in his eye? Carl would be at the top if but he had here. not betrayed his friends. Can I, can I just, can I just... In fact, I'm sorry for cutting you off. Please, please, please continue. If Carl had not betrayed his friends by telling them they were just guys doing guy stuff, mm. if he had in fact took them on his final adventure, mm. he'd be at the top. But you know what? He betrayed them. Now, Lenny, I do appreciate that point, but you're going into the... You're going off season 28, Carl. A lot's happened Carl to the man Carl. since then in the prime. If you were to go off prime Carl, let me just offer you this one piece of Simpsons trivia, right? Mm. Now, bear with me here. You see Lenny with the pudding in his eye. He's not... He screams when that pudding goes in his eye. He proclaims, I'm not supposed to get pudding in it. <laughs> That pudding was put there by none other than Homer J. J. Simpson. Homer J. J. Who J. threw J. it at Lenny's eye at the behest of Canary Montgomery Burns, who was using no Homer Simpson to be his prank monkey and paying him good money for oh, doing yeah. such. Now, Homer Simpson then turns his attention with the pudding cup to Carl Carlson, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to which Mr. Burns exclaims, what are you doing, Simpson? That is Carl. <laughs> now that a piece of evidence, you know, would put forth the thought that if a man with so much power and wealth as Mr. Burns would not allow another A-tier character like Homer Simp to throw the pudding cup at Carl, but he would be more than willing to let that shit strike Lenny in his eye, which he is specifically not supposed to get putting in. I would say that that means Carl just Carl, takes the Carl biscuit. Won it. Carl took the biscuit. <laughs> and if you notice, viewers, there's one letter left out, and we won't say anything else about that. Yeah, we're not. Nope. If you know, you know. That's it. <laughs> uh, but Lenny, here's a surprise even for you. A surprise even for me. Because with the power of post-production, I can add a secret seventh <laughs> tier to this list. <laughs> And that is going to be Hyper Omega Triple S tier. Mm. And in that and tier there. sits but one man and one man alone. Let me just get some context, right? Carl. Carl may have defeated Lenny based on some grounded evidence, but there is one who exists higher than every single Simpsons character on this list in terms of tierless ranking and also general benevolence. Mm. You're right. And that is none other than Lenny. <laughs> and there he is in super hyper triple S tier. God damn it. Well, I suppose, Calm, that's it. We've come to the end of our journey, bro. We have. We've it's, ranked it's finally over. every single Simpsons character. That matters. That matters. All the rest of them. You know, this just leaves ground for if you like this, leave a like, leave a comment, and we can do another one. There's plenty more Simpsons characters we can add to this shit. Leave a, uh, a suggestion of who you'd want on this. Be it Tell Apu, be it Barney, be it Cletus, the slack jawed yokel. You know, if you like our content, subscribe to Soup Group. We're back in action now and we've got plenty more shit coming. Mm. Uh, I've been Sam Super and that's Calm, colloquially known as Carl and Lenny. Uh, in some circles. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. <laughs>